The biggest tractor that we had to sell in 1976, and I'm going to relate it to that because that's when I came here right. and entered the retail business. The biggest tractor we had at that time uh, would be like it was a 806, and it was a diesel it was 83 horsepower, and the gas was just a few horsepower less than that. Today, the tractor that we sell, the biggest number of, is 200 horsepower plus. And the biggest one is over 300 horsepower. So it's, uh, and costs have gone right with it, but oh, the, the environment that the farmer works in now compared to back in 96, 1976 is really a huge change. Costs a lot of money, but boy, is it nice. Heated seats, air conditioning, climate control, heated mirrors, anything that you have in the automobile industry, you can get in in your farm tractor. Are those just um, luxuries or is those, are those necessities? I would say for the way the farmer, when he wants to put his crops in, he considers it a necessity. He really does. Do you? I consider what the farmer considers he's right I will get him what he wants Good. and we do <laughs> why do you need 300 horsepower tractors because they want to go over the acres they have with whatever the equipment uh, as quickly as they can to give you an idea like um, a corn planter doesn't take much to pull them you know, that 80 horsepower tractor was absolutely no load to give you. We sold a 24 row corn planter this week. And with the equipment and all the extra stuff that they have on it, it says right there, you have to have at least 220 horsepower and a ton of hydraulics to operate it. And hydraulics is a huge thing uh, in the newer, newer equipment, electric hydraulics, hydraulic motors, controlled by electric, it's quite sophisticated, very efficient, works great, extremely costly.